One of the most mysterious topics in modern science, and the most attractive for science fiction. Some optimists believe that black holes can be used as portals to travel to other parts of the universe, but the mainstream theory still urge not to build hopes and illusions that, approaching it, you can even stay alive. In this issue, you will learn what a black hole really is, how they form, what types of black holes are, and what secrets they hide, as well as top facts about new discoveries related to black holes. So how did it all start? What is black holes? A black hole in the classical sense is a region of space-time, the gravitational attraction of which is so strong that no objects moving at the speed of light can live it even quanta of light itself. The boundary of a black hole is called the event horizon, and its size is called the gravitational radius. Black holes pull matter towards them, which forms an accretion disk around them, a giant structure around the black hole that spins rapidly. It is because of the matter that glows during rotation that scientists were able to detect the existence of black holes. In addition, scientists often call black holes objects that do not fully correspond to their exact definition but only approach them in their properties. This category also includes collapsing stars in the late stages of collapse. Now, in astrophysics, there are four main scenarios for the formation of black holes. First, gravitational collapse of a very massive star. According to this hypothesis, at the end of its life, almost any star with a mass of more than three solar masses, which has already used up all thermonuclear reactions, can turn into exactly this type of super-dense matter into a neutron star, which is necessary for the emergence of such a curved section of the universe. In fact, this is a star that collapses under its own weight, dragging along the space-time continuum around it. The gravitational field of this object becomes so strong that not even light can escape from it. Therefore, this region is called a black hole. Collapse of the central part of the galaxy or a region of proto-galactic gas. In fact, the process of the appearance of black holes in this hypothesis is very similar to the first option. Only part of the galaxy collapses under its own weight and not a separate star. This hypothesis is based on scientists' observation that virtually every galaxy has a black hole at its center. This does not agree with the version about the appearance of black holes from collapsing stars. The appearance of black holes at the time of the initial expansion of the universe, the so-called primary black holes. According to this hypothesis, immediately after the Big Bang, the pressure and temperature in space were ultra-high. Under such conditions, simple fluctuations in the density of matter, for example, the beginning of the expansion of the universe, were significantly enough for territories with such gravity to appear. At the same time, most areas with high density moved away from each other due to the expansion of the universe. Cosmologists have also suggested that primordial black holes with masses ranging from 1014 to 1023 kilograms can constitute dark matter. These are the heaviest candidates for dark matter particles. The emergence of black holes in high-energy nuclear reactions. Similar reactions are used to study particles in hadron colliders. In 1784, the English scientist John Mitchell put forward the concept of the existence of a massive body, the gravitational attraction of which is so strong that the speed required to overcome it exceeds the speed of light. The scientists believe that in space there can be many such objects inaccessible to observation. However, this hypothesis was soon forgotten because in the framework of classical physics the speed of light is not of fundamental importance. And only after, in 1905, Albert Einstein in his special theory of relativity SRT, used the developments of Lorentz electrodynamics, the speed of light turned out to be the limit that a physical body can develop. This radically changed the meaning of black holes in theoretical physics. What are the types of black holes? A black star of stellar mass the result from the collapse of a star. Black star of medium mass. This is an intermediate stage of a black hole, which has increased due to the absorption into itself of gas clusters or a neighboring star in systems of paired stars. Supermassive black holes. Objects with rather low density, but with high mass and weak tidal forces. This is the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Ultramassive black holes. A rather rare phenomenon in the universe, but these can be observed in the center of the whole 15A galaxy the brightest in the Abel Cluster of Galaxies. 
Scientists recently discovered an ultra-massive black hole with a mass of 40 billion solar masses. So far, it is the heaviest known object in the universe. Scientists were petrified when in 2021 they discovered the closest black hole to Earth at a distance of 1500 light-years from our planet. Wow! They even gave it a name corresponding to the time – Unicorn. Do you know the constellation Aquarius? Telescopes recently spotted a pair of black holes in this constellation. These black holes belong to the heavyweights. The largest one has a mass of 154 million times more than the Sun and the smaller one is 6.3 million times more massive than our star. They orbit each other at a distance of only 1600 light-years and look like they will merge into one giant black hole in 250 million years, scientists believe. Black holes are places where the laws of physics are violated and in the center of galaxies there is an insatiable appetite. But what happens if you fall into a black hole? Bam! You will just be torn to pieces. We'll save the details for our next trip. If you like this journey, join the community of science and space lovers by subscribing to the channel. I would also love to see a thumbs up from you so I know you enjoy my videos.